All right, let's talk about the man himself, Mr. Dave Grawl. Dave Grawl. Pronounce names.com. Dave Grawl. An icon in the rock world, uh, both for drumming and for band leading and songwriting. And the guy is just a monster. And not only is he uh, on, obviously, uh, the groups that you've heard, Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Nirvana, um, uh, you know, Foo Fighters, uh, and others I could name that you would probably recognize. He's done a ton of recording behind the scenes for other really popular bands. And so I wanna break out five Dave Grawl drum fills that I think uh, really give you a look into who he is, who he is as a player, some of the things and his tendencies that he goes to. And as with the others, I'll kind of start to try to tie these together. Um, uh, so that you can see a common theme. That's the best thing to do is whenever we're looking at a player, try to pick apart a couple of drum fills, a couple of drum grooves, and then see what the parts are that go together and are similar. And you start to find out a little bit about their style and who they are. So let's look at this first one. So this is from his playing with Queens of the Stone Age. It's from the song No One Knows. Uh, it's at about the one minute, 23 second mark. If you would like the sheet music, it's in a pinned comment below this as well as in the video description. Be sure and uh, download that. This song is about 173 BPM, so it's really moving. And he uses a hybrid rudiment here called the herta. And the herta is simply, it's gonna be, its skeleton is right, right, left. It's usually played, well, not usually, but a lot of times it's played in a triplet format. So right, right, left, right, right, left. And then what we do is we throw a left right behind that first right. This, this type of rhythm, uh, the herta rhythm, as well as those two quick singles before other notes are something that you'll see Dave do a lot, and you'll see it in the other drum fills. So this one, he's going to do eight hertas, and it's going to simply go snare, high tom, snare, high tom, snare, second tom, snare, low, low tom, or floor tom for me. So it's going to go... As well with all of those, with every hurt on the downbeat, he plays the kick drum. The next one is another Queen song, Queens of the Stone Age. It's Song for the Dead, and it's at the 36 second mark. Now this one is moving. It's right at around 214 BPM. So these ones are really quick. It's just a really quick intro fill on the snare. And you'll see he uses that same pattern that he just used, but he uses it in 16th notes instead. So it's a two measure phrase. And the first beat, you're gonna have the hi-hat on all quarter notes. The first beat is gonna go one E and, then we rest two, three and, rest four. Then we have the pattern one E and a uh, on beat one, two and, three E and, four E and a. Uh. Now when you string that together, you'll see we have that same pattern, that same Herta pattern in the second measure. So it goes. The next drum fill I had to include, it comes from Nirvana's breakout song, uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Of course, and it's gonna be at about 118 BPM, and it's the intro fill. Now the reason I include this is it's a great example of two things. Dave Grawl playing the kick drum on the E's and the U's, which he likes to do, as well as playing alternating hits between the snare and the kick, so alternating singles. 
And this is really the first time we see this. He just kind of put his foot through uh, the rock world and, with this drum fill as an intro to that song. So it's going to go snare, kick, one E. Then we have an open hi-hat, then another kick. So one E and a. Uh. And then we repeat that. Excuse me. One E and a. Uh. Two E and a. Uh. Again, three E and a. Uh. And then we have a four and an and on the kick drum. The other thing that this brings in there is his use of flams. You'll see in another fill here, he really likes to use flams in his playing. And you'll see that throughout his playing, like across the board. He uses flams, he uses those two small notes uh, before uh, a string of other long notes. And then um, he likes to play the kick drum on the E's and the U's. That's just kind of a signature thing for him. The next one is from a group you may not have heard of. It's from a super group. So Them Crooked Vultures. Uh, the song's called Elephants and it's at the one minute 23 second mark. Mark, and that I believe has one of the guys from Queens of the Stone Age, Dave Grawl on drums, and then uh, I think it's the bass player from Led Zeppelin. I could be so wrong there, but I think that was the lineup, if not the core lineup. But please tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. I know you will. Uh, so this starts off, it's at a 90 BPM, so not near as burning as the others, but it's still a, uh, a, a different a different type of a fill. And we're gonna see him put the kick drum on the offbeats. We're gonna see him use those flams, as well as open the hi-hat on the fill, which he likes to do. So on beat one, we have one and on the kick drum. We have one and on the hi-hat. We open it on the and, uh, of the hi-hat and then we have your floor tom some settings he has two toms some settings he has three so i'm just using this as my floor tom so it's going to go Then we're gonna see him do a very similar fill to uh, uh, the intro to um, Smells Like Teen Spirit. It's gonna go flam, kick, and then we have a high tom with a hi-hat on the and and then a kick. Then we're gonna do a similar thing, but we're gonna do flam, kick, and then we're doing, excuse me, hi-hat and floor tom, two hits on the floor tom, so. Then on the last of that, uh, on beat four, we have eight thirty second notes, and he, he does a really uh, fun pattern there that comes out on one. You can use this uh, uh, in any drum fill if you want, uh, and it's gonna come out on one with a kick drum. So it's gonna go right, left, kick, kind of a Bonham style, uh, right, left, kick, or a Steve Gadd style, uh, uh, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, and then the kick hits on one. That's a cool lick to do um, whenever you're playing because it comes out naturally on one with the kick drum. So let me play that very slowly so you can hear the whole thing.
The next one comes from a Prodigy song, believe it or not. He played on one of their albums. And it's going to be Run With The Wolves. And um, it's got, that's going to be at about the 42 second mark is where this fill comes in. And it's at 165 BPM. Now, in the sheet music, if you want to download that, I actually have the groove written out so that you can see that. But we'll just focus on the drum fill. The drum fill comes in on one, and it's going to be... Now, there's two different ways we could play this, okay? Usually, when you see this pattern, you see it playing right, left, right, left, kick, kick. In the recording, it's really hard to tell because if that first kick is there, but it would be really odd to play it that way. So I'm going to demonstrate it both ways for you, just so you can see it the way that I would interpret it in the way that the recording sounds kinda. Sometimes it's hard to hear with so much distortion and whatnot uh, in some of these drum parts. So we're gonna have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now that's the part on the recording that is a little bit hard to tell, is that first kick drum note in, any, in the, both of those first six note rhythms. And so what I, what you can do is eliminate that first kick drum so it would sound like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now, this one's moving, all right? So it's very, very quick. Now let's get to the second measure. It's gonna go right, left, right, left, one E and a, and then we're coming down here, two E, one E and a, two E, and a three E and a, so we have another six note pattern. So he basically has six note pattern, six note pattern, four note pattern, six note pattern, six note pattern, another four note pattern. He just does them differently around the kick. So it's. So the whole fill put together played with only one kick drum instead of two kick drum. Let's do that. Now played with two kick drums. And last but certainly not least, we go back to Nirvana. And it's gonna be at the 22nd mark. It's where he intros into this song. It's the intro fill after he's done an eighth note build on the song Aneurysm. Uh, and this song is at about 150 BPM. And this one is uh, a good example of like uh, recording magic. It's just like going for it. And um, so we can notate it in a couple different ways. And so I'm gonna explain it as best I can, but it's best to listen to it and try to match it up. All right, so we have this starting on beat three. And on beat three, he's gonna play basically three sextuplets. So it's gonna go right, left, right. Followed by an and on the kick drum. And an uh on the floor tom. On beat four, he plays, this is where it's kind of, he could be playing a left, right kick in sextuplets and then right, left in 16th notes. He could be playing a flam with slightly slowing kick drum on the upbeat of that sextuplet and then right, left on, and uh, 
or he could have been going for a flam and separated the flam a little bit more. That's the thing. Whenever you start getting up at that high tempo, it really doesn't matter. But uh, on beat four, for all intents and purposes, we have a flam and then a kick into. So it's a. It's going to be. And we omit that middle sextuplet. So very slowly. Again, that's a really quick fill there at the intro of aneurysm. And so uh, work that up. It's just two beats long, but it's definitely challenging. And it's definitely a signature thing uh, that uh, you'll see Grawl pull out here every now and then. So that's just five drum fills by Dave Grawl that I think you should um, dig into that show you a little bit of his style. Leave me a comment, let you know what you think. What's your favorite drum fill by Dave Grohl? Uh, I read all of those. I try to respond to as many as I can as well. Subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. Um, I've got new videos coming just about every every uh, few days. And uh, jump over to the website if you want to dig deeper into some drum lessons. I have a membership program there. But whatever you do, I'll see you here in the next lesson.